Hey everybody, this is Peter with BibleMoneyMatters.com, and today I'm going to be talking about Play-On. Play-On is uh, kind of a, a home for all of your media, all of your favorite TV shows, all of your favorite movies, all your music. You can put them all under one roof. Uh, it's never been easier to watch whatever you want, wherever you want. Uh, Play-On allows you to stream all of your favorite services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and some video, or the uh, big networks uh, streaming services as well. You can stream them all to your uh, devices, whether it's an Xbox, PlayStation, a Chromecast, an iPad, an Android device. You can use PlayOn to stream all of your favorite shows, record all of your favorite shows, and allow you to bring them on the go. Uh, PlayOn is a free software that you can download from uh, BibleMoneyMatters.com slash PlayOn. Uh, just click on the Download Now button, it'll download the most recent version. Uh, it does have uh, a license along with it that allows you to do certain things. There's certain functionality that only is available with the Plus version of the software. And the Plus version of the software is going to cost $4.99 a month. Uh, if you want to buy a lifetime license like I have, which I highly recommend, that's going to be $59.99. So what devices uh, are supported by PlayOn? Here's just kind of a quick list. You have the Roku, Chromecast, Xbox, PlayStation, Wii U, Android devices, and iOS devices like the iPhone and iPad. Here's a little bit more exhaustive list. PlayStation, Wii, Wii U, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Chromecast, Google TV. Basically any DNA compliant device should work with PlayOn. If you're not sure if your device is compatible, just email support at playontv.com, or excuse me, support at playon.tv, and they should be able to help you and let you know if your device is compliant with that. Okay, so I've just opened up the PlayOn software. This is the software that's actually installed on my desktop computer. Uh, this is the, the hub and the, the center, the brain of the PlayOn operation. It basically is what serves all your streaming services to your computer so you can view your shows or cast that media over to your big screen TV via your Chromecast, your Xbox, whatever streaming device that you're using. Uh, here's my account window. I click on my account here. And this screen is going to tell me what license I have with the software. I currently have the PlayOn Lifetime License, PlayOn Plus Lifetime License, which basically means I paid a one-time fee of $59.99 for the software, and now it allows me to do everything that the software does. If you're using the free version of the software, you're only going to be able to do these two things. You can watch your shows via the, the software here. Uh, again, that's, you can watch the streaming services and or your local media. And you can also stream your local media library over to your devices, whether it's Chromecast or whatever. You are not able to stream or cast the channels within the software like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and so forth over to your big screen TV. You can only watch it on the computer. If you pay for the Plus software, you can stream your shows over your big screen, any show, either your local media or your online channels. You can record online channels, anything from Netflix and Hulu and Amazon over to networks uh, streaming services. And when you record your shows from online sources, uh, the software will all allow you to automatically skip the ads, uh, just like you do with your, your home uh, VCR or DVR. So why don't we take a look at the software? Again, kind of an overview of what the software is. You can kind of think of PlayOn as your uh, cable company's DVR and uh, cable box. It allows you to view your program guide, to view all your different programs, and then you can either watch those programs live in your software as you're sitting there, or you can set it to record. You can record a single show, or you can record an entire season of a show, or you can set up a subscription so that anytime a new show comes out, it will record that show for you, and you can view it later on. So why don't we take a look at some of the stuff I have in here. Uh, the main services that I use is Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon. Uh, what the software allows you to do is go into any one of those services and then watch video from any of those services live right there as you're sitting there. 
or you can set it up to record those shows and allow you to view those shows later on uh, without the ads. So, for example, if, say I, I set up Hulu, I go into Hulu here and I can set it up to record a TV show. I'm going to pull up a show right now. It's a little slow right now, but basically you can pull up your show. You can watch your show in the software. Let's just do the first one we see here. ABC 2020. We'll do the full episodes. Okay, so what you see here is a listing of the most recent episodes in Hulu for uh, 2020. That means what we clicked on. Yep, 2020. So what I can do now is I can either record this show. I can just play the show right now and watch it as I'm sitting here. Or I can cast this show to my connected device. In this case, I, I have a Chromecast set up in my living room. I can click on cast here and then I can use the controls here to control the show as it's showing on my big screen TV. So let's say I want to record this show. Just click on record. And easy as that, that show is set to, it's actively recording right now as we're recording. I can then add other shows to my recording queue as well. And then they'll show up in my queue and they'll record after this show is complete. If you want, you can pause that queue or you can clear the queue. Uh, if you did change your mind, you don't want to record the shows. Another cool thing is, since we're in the 2020 full episodes listing here, you can just have to record all the shows. So you can record the entire listing of 2020 shows that are available on Hulu. You can also click on subscribe right here, and that will subscribe to any new episodes that come on to this Hulu listing of 2020. Any of those new shows will be recorded, and then you'll get a notification that a new show has been recorded. Why don't we go look at the notifications here showing you new recordings. I'm going to stop this because I don't really want to record that show. I'm going to cancel that one as well. Okay, so we have no active recordings. Okay, so here are my notifications of all shows that have been recorded for me. Uh, here's one that just recorded. This show was just aired uh, earlier today, I guess. And now that this is recorded, I can actually click play to record the, or to watch that show. And it gives you the option to just play the show and it'll include the commercials or you can choose to skip the commercials if you want by clicking on play with ad skip here. And that will skip any of the commercials that it's recorded. I've already tested this out and it works like a charm. It just skips right over the commercials. You never even have to fast forward or anything. Uh, you can also send this according to iTunes if you want to watch it on your iOS device. And again, you can cast this to your Chromecast with ad skip again if you want. So you can start it playing and you never have to fast forward or anything. It's awesome. I've used it already. And it's the wave of the, wave of the future. I see some other shows that I set to record overnight here. I recorded all three of the Back to the Future movies from Amazon and some videos so I could watch them uh, on vacation. Uh, here we go. A couple other shows that I set up with subscriptions that uh, just recorded on their own. I just the software runs in the background and I recorded those shows for me. There's some Netflix shows that I recorded again to bring with me to work and watch over lunch. So that's really part of the power of the software is that it works like your cable company DVR. You can view all your shows online through all the different services like your program guide, and then you can set it to record any of those shows right off of the online streaming services, just like you would with your uh, DVR. Here again, I click on subscriptions on the sidebar, and this is going to show you a list of all the subscriptions I currently have set up in Play On. I've got Blind Spot, Jim Gaffigan Show, Blacklist, and it'll show you how many episodes have been recorded for each of those subscriptions. Some of these haven't recorded any yet, others have recorded uh, one or two shows since I set this up pretty recently. Uh, we have our media library, you can view all of your local media as well. Well, you can see some of the other shows I had recorded via my uh, Tableau DVR. Playmark is another feature that's pretty cool. It, it basically allows you to uh, add a, an extension for your browser in Chrome or Firefox 
And when you get to a video on, on YouTube or Vimeo or any other video service that you want to watch later, or maybe you want to record it and download it to your device, you just click on the button in your software. Let me just pull it up here. If I can. You click on this little button here in your browser, and that will then allow you to record or watch that video uh, within your plan on software. So as you can see here, I already recorded a, a couple of uh, Vimeo videos. These are sermons from our church that I wanted to watch later on a big screen TV. And now that they're recorded, I can cast them up to the Chromecast. Awesome. And then finally down here, here's a list of our recordings. All the shows that have been recorded for us. Uh, this is the one we just did. It's a partial recording. We're going to go ahead and delete that one. Here's a bunch of Amazon videos of shows or movies that I have purchased and that were in my personal library. There's one I purchased last night for TV show Fargo, Season 2, Episode 1, that I missed recording. And here it is. Now I can watch it. Cast it to my Chrome ass or whatever. So there you go. I love this new Play On software that they just released in uh, late 2015. It's awesome. So much improved over their, their previous version of software. I can highly, highly recommend this software now. It's your online DVR for all of your streaming services and all of your online video. Works like a charm. Works great on your desktop computer, but it also works great on your mobile devices. There is a, an app for it for iOS as well as for Android. I've been using that as well. You can use it as kind of a remote control to control your videos that are playing on your Chromecast or other device. Uh, you just click on the app, choose your recording that you want to watch or your show, and then choose to cast it to your device. In our instance, it would be a Chromecast. And you can play it without ads if, if that's an option. So, very cool. If you buy the software, don't forget to install the app from the Play uh, Store via Google. So, play on. Check it out. It's an awesome software, well worth $59.99 price.